What's up, Brad Babe? So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to teach you how to lay your lace. So what you want to start off by doing is getting you some got to be gel. And you are going to use this to gel back your natural hair. That way, when you are doing your bald cap and you are gluing on your lace, whether it's a frontal or a closure, your edges are out of the way. This is why when a lot of people say that they have like hair loss or their edges is gone, it's because they are not moving it out of the way. So that's why we are going to avoid those problems by doing this, okay? So after you put on your got to be, you wanna make sure that you brush all of your hair back and you take your blow dryer on like a medium warm heat just to mold it in place and don't mind my braids y'all like i normally like to keep my braids in for like a month or two before i go get another braid down that's why my braids look old and raggedy but if you say anything about them maybe you're anti-black i don't care now we're gonna get into our bald cap method i personally like to use hd caps dark brown specifically because it blends so much better with my skin tone these will be linked in my Amazon storefront below. Actually, everything will be linked in my Amazon storefront below. Y'all, do y'all see already? It's looking like melted. This is why I always use dark brown HD lace caps. Once you put on your cap, make sure you push as much of it to the front as possible, and then you are going to cut your air tab. So you're gonna cut a very small hole behind your ear, and once you get that tiny hole, you are gonna take that opening and open it upon your ear now remember these are very thin you do not need to cut too much that little tiny hole that you make behind your ear it's good enough then i am going to be going in with my ruby kisses cream foundation in the color 15 this is so that you can get that extra blend on your cap i always use the darker side preferably because i feel like i would rather my lace cap be darker than lighter so that it does not show through the lace once i put it on so then i take all of my makeup and I just rub that all over my cap I specifically like Ruby Kisses because it doesn't have a lot of oils and it tends to not allow your lace to look caked up so now when it comes to my bald cap method I like to use an adhesive spray sometimes I use got to be most of the time I use Eben's black bottle and what I like to do is spray a little bit in front of my hairline not too far out and not too far behind because you want to make sure that all of your edges are protected so after I spray that, I like to tap it in a little bit. That way it's literally melting in. And y'all can already tell that it's going to be melted. This is why I like to use HD caps because it just makes it so much easier, more flawless and seamless. Once I do that, I take my blow dryer on cool the only time you are going to use warm heat is in the beginning when we're putting our edges back from here on out only cool before we get into applying our wig on our head we're going to take that same makeup shade that we applied to our cap and put it all over the lace that way everything matches everything seamless and everything flawless that is the code words for this install y'all seamless and flawless then you're going to take some got to be spray and you are going to spray that in the lace just to make sure that your makeup gets stuck in there and does not transfer onto your head into your glue making your install cakey now when it comes to me cutting my cap if you watch i am not cutting straight through i'm literally cutting behind it only directly in front of where the glue is placed i don't know if that makes sense i can show you better than i can tell you so literally just watch i like to do it this way because it keeps the back of my head kind of secure some people like to sew the back of the cap i personally don't got time for all of that so when i cut behind it and leave it just like this the back of my braids are not exposed and then i just like to cut a pieces of that extra cap off and this is just how i like to do my cap so that all of my hair is protected we're talking about from the edges all the way to the back and y'all can honestly see why i love hd lace brown caps because look at this melt here i am just cutting some of the excess lace you know it's excess because it's lifting up it's not laid onto your head it's white you do not want to put your wig on top of something that looks like this because your foundation is everything and if it's already lifted there imagine what it's going to look like under your lace so yeah we're not doing that now before before I put my wig on my head, I like to use the bands that's in the back and I crisscross them. This is going to make sure that when you put your wig on, your lace lays directly flat on your head. And before
before I put my wig on, I like to just hot comb all of the hair back. I already did it before on my wig head. I was just showing you guys the motion. This helps keep all of that excess hair out of the way when you are trying to glue your hair down because it's nothing more annoying than trying to lay your hair but all wig strands keep getting in the glue. We do not want those problems, okay? So now that my wig is on, I am just making sure that there is no excess cap that I need to cut off. And you know that there is no excess cap when you put your lace exactly how you want it to lay and don't see a cap in front of it i hope that makes sense but if i was doing this and i seen pieces of my wig cap in front of the lace i would have moved it back and cut off some excess lace now i am going to be cutting my ear tabs your ear tabs is any piece of the lace that covers your entire ear and that's not natural our natural hair does not do that and we want our wigs to mimic our natural hairline so you just take your finger and part any piece that is covering your ear and you want to snip 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 okay so that your wig mimics your natural hairline it's not covering your ears it's not coming all the way down to your chin then when you are getting ready to glue you are just gonna cut little pieces in the lace just so that it gives you sections I love doing section it just makes it so much easier but before we even get to gluing I'm gonna take some alcohol and clean my forehead where I'm going to be applying the glue and the wig because you do not want any dirt or anything with oils causing your wig to lift and not look laid like do y'all see that already yeah, we don't want that, okay? The glue I'm going to be using is Hold Me Down by Erica J. I absolutely love her glue. I've had this glue for years. I also love my glue, but stick around to the end to see where I got everything from if you want more information. So I like to put my glue on like little polka dots on the hairline. You want to put it literally a little bit on the cap and a little bit on your skin. You don't want to do too much of either one. And I like to use one of these wooden sticks, which will be linked in my Amazon storefront below because I like something flat. I used to use the rat cones but I realized they're really just not flat enough and I want my glue spread evenly I want it to be completely flat so that it all dries clear at the same time and do y'all see how clear that glue is that was just the first layer and I waited about like 10 to 30 seconds I just let it air dry on its own but now we're gonna go into our second layer but that's exactly how you want your glue to look each time let it get clear let it get tacky you do not want it to remain white that's why I love the wooden sticks because it just makes it such a seamless application I I normally like to go for three to four max layers of glue I don't like to go more than that because I feel like it'll make my lace look cakey quicker and like the product build up be insane so I like to stick to three but sometimes I will do four just depending on how the weather is outside but three is my magic number so now that I have all my layers of glue I just like to go in really quickly with some makeup anything that may have came off within transferring the wig onto my head and now it is time to go section by section I like to start in the front when it comes to laying my lace down because once I get the middle part directly in the middle of my head everything else is one two three now after I do the middle when it comes to me doing the sides if you can see that I am stretching the lace as close as I can to my ear this is what you need to do you need to make sure it is stretched okay make sure you are applying that lace directly into where you put the glue and you are stretching that lace down this is what is going to prevent it lifting quicker this is what is going to prevent it having those ruffles in the edges sometimes you see people's wigs that be too big the lace will literally look like it's ruffling we don't want those problems okay then we are going to be taking our thin rat tail comb and we are going to just kind of comb the pieces of the hair in the front into the glue you kind of want to comb through and press at the same time this is just going to make sure every piece of glue is attached to your lace so that it just looks nice and seamless okay and we're going to take our lace band and press it on real tight and almost to the point where I ties mine sometimes in the back because I want that extra tightness to the lace while it is on I like to take my wax stick and go section by section hot combing the lace down y'all love to ask me how I get my wig so flat it's because I do not play when it comes to the lace I go section by section piece by piece and I make sure I hot comb the hair you want to make sure you hot comb in the directions of back and down back and down okay this is what you're going to continue to do until all of your lace has been graced by the hot comb because I do not play when it comes to the flatness of my wigs we don't want our wigs looking like no mountain we want it to look like natural as natural as it can be so you're going to continue to do this on both sides until it looks like this F L A T. I'm a mirror so you know I look like a bar B <laughs> but no I am an excessive hot comber so I'm just going to keep 
hot combing like 30 more times than I have to. We're gonna take off the lace band and bow. Do you see the melt? Do you see the melt? So now let's get into cutting the excess lace off. Remember when we parted our sections before we glued the hair? I just take my scissors and cut the middle section. Then I take a razor and do the sides. You wanna make sure if you do use a scissor for all of your lace, you are cutting in a zigzag motion. That way it does not look like a lace front. You wanna mimic your hairline. Our hairlines are not just straight across. So make sure you are doing zigzag motions but when you are using the little mini razors it actually mimics that natural cut because it has a rigid edge so I just like to stick to that then I'm gonna go in with some makeup and kind of just touch up anywhere on the lace that looks ashy this is very normal especially because you just used glue so do not worry if your lace is ashy just get you some makeup we're using the same shade that we used throughout the video the darker side of the Ruby kisses and what I should have done was went in in the middle with some glue where obviously there was no glue but I did not do that so if this happens to you in the front where you realize oh my gosh there's literally no glue on this piece of lace like I have here in the middle do not just go and run to your spritz bottle and try to lay it you're not supposed to do this y'all but just learn from my mistakes I was tired it was getting late and I was just like I want this wig down okay so I went in with my Fantasia spritz and I just like to dab it in on my finger. Sometimes I'll put it directly on the lace, but make sure you go in with your finger to evenly distribute the spritz. And then you wanna take a nice little fan that has some cool air, allow it to get tacky for like 15 to 30 seconds. And then you go on with your lace band just for that extra melt. Now, while that is melting, we are going to get into styling. For this particular wig, I wanted to do some curls. So I took my wand. A lot of you guys asked where I get this wand from. I got it years ago for Christmas. It was a Christmas gift from my aunt. So honestly, I don't know where it's from. I've tried looking for it. I can't find it. It has the initials GVP on it. If y'all can find it, let me know because I can't. But anyway, I like to do my curls away from my face. I am not a master yet at the flat iron curls or the curling iron ones. So we're going to stick to the wand, okay? And once I am trapping in that heat after I let it go from the curling wand, I like to go in with uh, my shaper spray. This is the uh, Sebastian Shaper Spray, which also will be linked in my Amazon storefront below. And once you drop that curl, it should look like this. It should literally frame your face. And when it comes to styling, I can do a completely separate video just based on curling alone, which I don't think should be too much because honestly, using a curling wand is one of the easiest things to do. But yeah, this can be a separate video, so I'm not gonna go too much into detail when it comes to curling with the curling wand. But the main thing is just to make sure you are curling away from your face, you're locking in that heat, you're spraying your holding spray, and then you are dropping the curls and really just letting it hold. Sometimes Sometimes you can even pin curl your curls but on a wand I don't really do all of that when I am doing it on the opposite side because I'm right-handed I have to hold the wand a different way but the direction of the curls is still going away from my face so that still doesn't change you still need it to go away you want to lock that heat in place spray and then let it fall down okay but like I said this will be a separate video to go more into detail this was just a quick styling because your girl was getting tired now that the styling is complete remember your lace was just sitting there being melted from the spritz so now it is time to take that band off and see your work let's wait for it boom now when it comes to your lace I want you guys to keep in mind the point of you taking all these tips is to make it look as natural as possible however at the end of the day lace is lace so no matter what tips or tricks you use or how much you practice the goal will always be to let it look natural but it will never look exactly like skin because it's a lace so once I take off the band I like to just touch it up with the same shade of makeup that I was using this entire video just pass the hot comb through a few more times just to get it like exactly how I like it that's pretty much it for the install you guys like this is all it is it really does not take long it is really not a hard thing to do this is something you have to continuously do continuously practice over and over and over again I suggest when you are starting off with learning how to do your own hair you do not need to go buy $700 $800 wigs I would go on Aliexpress I would go on Amazon I would start with the cheap wigs first that way in case you make a mistake while practicing 
it's not like a huge loss. It's not something that you cannot come back from. Like I would rather buy a $200 wig and make a mistake than to buy an $800 wig and make a mistake, baby. We don't got time for all of that. But the longer you practice, the better you will become. In this generation, a lot of people just like to literally wake up and be successful at something or be good at something. That's not how it works. I've been doing my own hair since I was in college, sophomore year to be exact. So that's over five years of practicing how to do my own hair. You have to start somewhere. Don't get discouraged. Don't always wait until you're going out to do your own hair. The days that you're not going anywhere is the best time to practice your installs. So save this video and make sure you come back to it and take your time when doing your own installs. There will be more videos to come. I am going to do another frontal install with baby hairs. I don't normally do baby hairs on colored wigs, but that's to come closures and more. If you want more information on where I got everything from, all of the supplies will be linked in my Amazon storefront and my vendors list with my high quality virgin hair vendor my packaging vendor and my hair product vendor is now available on nursebrat.com so make sure y'all go get y'all a copy and yeah let's get to it girls i'll see y'all in the next video love you brat babes bye Mwah.